All right, folks, we have JT at the front. Kind of back up a little bit, folks. Give him a little bit of room. Hi, Joe. Hi, Jake. You know, they've played football a long time in this league. You now own the record for most touchdowns responsible for passing Drew Brees. What, what does that mean to you? And uh, I mean, well, I keep on thinking to myself, like, with it, all these, I guess you say, these records broken um, that I have, like, I never really thought about it, honestly. Like, um, I mean, I... One thing I go back to is like come from Wichita Falls, a little city on the map. Uh, I just want to do it, you know, come out here, won a lot of football games, uh, you know, be around a great group of people doing it. And, uh, this was you know, something that came along the way as far as the records being broken. So I mean, it's a tremendous honor. Uh, didn't picture it, and you know, I committed to Ohio State, but uh, I don't know. I think it's just credit to all the people involved. I think about. Uh, Think about the times with Coach Beck, Coach Harmon back in the day, all the guys as far as uh, you know, help me get it, as far as, you know, Devin Smith, tight ends, Jeff Harmon, Nick Burnett, uh, Jalen Marshall, Dontre, like, uh, you know, everybody that was a part of uh, my time here, you know, I don't know, just believe in me as far as the coaches and uh, it's an honor to do it. JT, this week's been a pretty weird week, uh, just in the sense that you broke this all-time Big Ten record, but I'm assuming that you've seen that there's a lot of fans in this fan base that think there's a quarterback controversy on this team. Can you talk about how you got through this week, what it's like to break this record, and it's the kind of irony of those two things kind of happening at the same time? Um, yeah, so I, mean, I, don't know, I really didn't. Like, I seen it, and it was like, um, I don't know. I think that uh, people have a right to their opinion. I think. That's something that's part of our great country, freedom of speech. Uh, but I mean, they really don't know all the inner workings that are involved in every single game plan, every single game, and even go down to every single play. So, with that being said, uh, you know, they're kind of speaking things, you know, I don't know, based off what they see or hear, which is fine. But I understand that they don't know all the inner workings that we have going on. So. I don't know, I just focus on our team, understand that, you know, this process is going to be a long journey, getting back to where we want to be. Uh, we're going to take one step at a time, um, whether it be players and coaches, so just focus on that. JT, are you the bus? Are you riding the bus? What, what lessons did you learn from last week and the progress that you guys made in seven days? Are there things coming out of this performance, even though it's Army, right. not a Power 5 team, that you can take forward? I mean, what? What yeah. did this week give you that you can take home? So uh, I think when you, you know, when you lose, there's a lot of evaluating that goes on as far as players and coaches. You know, what I'm saying I'm doing the right thing. Uh, you know, but understanding that what Coach Meyer has in place for us is great, and it's great and it's the best thing for us. So uh, getting back to the basis of what we do, uh, lots of offense, playing fast, not a lot of thing going on. You know, uh, I guess trying to decipher things, just playing fast, having our O line control line screens, rolling off the ball. Uh, myself getting the ball out there to our playmakers in the perimeter. Uh, they, did, they did a great job blocking today. Uh, so just getting back to you know who we are. I think last week we were trying to be perfect each and every play and understand that if you play football like that then uh, a lot of times you're not gonna get the results. The important thing is you've never lost confidence in yourself, have you? No, I mean uh, I don't know, you really can't do that. I think with uh, being a quarterback, you know, you get a, a lot of praise when you win, which is a lot of times not needed. And then when you lose, you get all the blame, and which I'm okay with. Uh, I don't want to place that on anybody else uh, in our program. Like, I, I accept the blame, but with that too, just understanding the skills I have and, uh, you know, because if you start getting down on yourself, then you're going to just end up digging a hole you ain't going to climb out of. So with that, uh, I'm going to just try to be positive each and every day and understand that uh, you're going to work, try as hard as you can, and that's all you can do at the end of the day. JT, can you switch the name on the back of your jersey to bear it before your parents were rose in the service? I'm wondering on a day like today how much you are reflecting on family. Yeah, so, um, I mean, going against uh, people in our service, so thinking about uh, when we played Navy back in 2014, Army uh, today, just the amount of respect you have for people in our service. Uh, I was telling uh, one of the guys downstairs, like they were talking a little smack 
And I had nothing to say back to him because that's how much I respected him, you know. So um, with that, uh, knowing that each and every day they, uh, you know, they fight and they're going to help, you know, keep our country safe. So having a lot of respect for those guys. Okay, JT, last week you stood here pretty emotional after the game, and then tonight you kind of you kind of played off or brushed off that this week might have felt any differently. Is that? Am I reading that wrong? Did this week Say that last little, part again. Well, no, last night, off. it was like it was like this week was just business as usual for you. Did it not feel any different going through preparations this week or meetings? Did were you? I mean, we don't lose a lot of games here, uh, so we lose. I mean, I wasn't going to be happy. I was pretty down. Uh, especially the way I play as well. I feel a lot better. Or I wish I could feel a lot better, but I mean, you got to move on. Otherwise, if you keep on holding, you know, a boss, then you're going to let Oklahoma beat you twice. And so with that, uh, trying to move on, uh, I think everybody, when it came to Tuesday, you know, we got to get to work on Army, knowing uh, the type of offense they were, things like that. So it's, you know, you can't, can't really hang on those things. Yeah. JT, thank you very much. we got to go, guys. Thank you.